What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video we're going to talk about premiums on gold and silver, what you can expect to pay, what is normal. If you're going to be investing in precious metals, this is something you absolutely need to understand, so let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. We are at the Bullion Max website, and if you're buying silver or gold locally or online, you're going to need to understand premiums. Now, a premium is simply the amount you're paying over the spot price. Up at the top, we can see the live spot prices. These will probably update and change as I film this video. But for gold, the current spot price is $1,883.55. That is the base price for one ounce of raw gold. Now, if this gold was turned into a coin or a bar, that would obviously cost money. So to purchase a gold coin, for example, you're going to have to pay more than the spot price, and that's the premium. For silver, we have a spot price of $23.90. Uh, they also show platinum and palladium, but we're just going to go over gold and silver in this video. If you click on silver, there's a few handy tools. Uh, we can see they have the price per gram, price per ounce, and kilo, as well as some useful charts and the same is true for gold as well so if you wanted to do some more research and kind of go over the spot price you can certainly do that here on the bullion max website okay first off we're going to look at a one ounce silver coin and a one ounce gold coin and we will talk about the premiums these are the most common sizes for buying silver and gold coins they are my favorite sizes to buy so we're going to start off with a one ounce silver coin we're going to click on the philharmonics here and they do have one of the 2020 three is available so let's check this one out here as you can see this particular silver coin is on sale or they're calling it a promotional discount which is great and the price for one of these is twenty nine dollars and ninety cents now if we scroll down we can actually see they show us the premium uh, per ounce over spot that you're paying so this particular coin has a five dollar and ninety nine cent premium and they do have the silver spot price listed here as well now for coins this is actually backed by a government this is a one ounce piece of silver that is great to purchase for investment or silver stacking long-term wealth preservation and as far as premiums are concerned this premium is actually very normal this is what you can expect to pay if we pull up the calculator we can actually do a little math if we take the premium 5.99 divide that by the silver spot price 23.91 we can actually see the premium is around 25 percent so you're going to be paying about 25 percent over the spot price to purchase these coins this is a normal premium i would feel comfortable paying this price buying this silver as an investment one important thing to note is that premiums change over time in the past we've seen them as low as 10% or as high as 50% for silver bullion coins. And obviously, depending on the item you're buying, the premium will be different. For example, 100 ounce silver bars typically have an even lower premium than silver coins. As you can see, this one's only $4.04 uh, premium per ounce over spot. Uh, but of course, you are buying a lot more silver. If we wanted to look at a one ounce gold coin, I'm going to select the Britannia because these are really cool gold Gold coins I actually own one of these myself and I need to pick up some more uh, but we can see the price here one thousand nine hundred seventy four dollars and sixty four cents and if we scroll down just like the silver we can see the premium per ounce above spot now this is tiered pricing which is very common so if you're buying just one of these coins the premium is ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents if you're buying 20 or more the premium is eighty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so the more you buy the less of a premium you're gonna pay now now I'm assuming you're just buying one of these so if we wanted to look at the percentage premium just like with the silver uh, we can take the premium 
99.99 and we will divide that by the gold spot price and you can see the premium on this particular gold coin is about five percent over spot price so typically when you're looking at one ounce silver and one ounce gold the gold is always going to have a lower premium than the silver and this is a very normal premium here for one ounce gold this is something that i would definitely feel comfortable paying if i were to buy this particular gold coin now if you wanted to buy a smaller gold coin you're going to pay a higher premium this is a general rule of thumb so the smaller the coin the higher the premium for example let's look at a quarter ounce gold coin and we're going to check out the quarter ounce gold philharmonic here so you can see the premium is actually listed as only $49.99 but you have to remember you're only purchasing one quarter ounce of gold maybe you have a smaller budget and all you can afford is around $500 but if we take this premium here do a little bit of math we actually go 49.99 and we multiply this by four and this is the premium if you were to buy four of these coins and end up with one ounce of gold we'll take this and divide it by the spot price once again and as you can see this is over a 10 percent premium for a quarter ounce gold coin this is very normal this is very common and i would feel comfortable paying this price if i were to buy this for myself now let's look at a high premium silver coin and talk about why the premium is so much higher than the other one i showed we're going to look at this uh, one ounce disney pluto colorized proof coin as you can see the price is 82 dollars and 72 cents this is currently on sale and it is much more expensive than the one ounce philharmonic i showed previously and you can see the premium is listed right here 58 dollars and 75 cents this is about a 250 percent premium over the spot price now if we scroll down we can see this coin actually has a limited mintage of only 10,000 coins worldwide and there's a lot of work that goes into producing something like this it is a proof version which means it's extremely shiny and it does have a colorized uh, character on it it has the specialized packaging and a certificate of authenticity and things like that so if you were going to be buying something like this you would not be buying it for direct exposure to the spot price of silver instead you'd be buying this as a collectible or to give as a gift now my third son actually loves the classic disney character pluto and this would make a great gift for him so i could actually see myself buying this particular piece and i would feel comfortable paying a price like that because i know it's a limited mintage and it's a collectible and i'm not buying this for an investment but for another purpose some people do buy things like this to resell in the future but you need to do a lot of research and really know what you're buying why you're buying it so if you just want to buy silver or gold as an investment then these high premium pieces are maybe not for you but some people enjoy them all right well i know that was a quick video on premiums but if you have any questions feel free to put those down below in the comment section i do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one silver dragons out